Hello, Christina on the Mystic Shaman back. I had to go clean the water, have a drink of water because I live where it's really hot. And like I say in my moving forward videos, make sure you're wearing, you're drinking a lot of water. Now I usually wear this and I wear this when I'm mixing up the grout and I forgot to put that on and that wasn't a good thing because I'm used to doing it outside, but I do wear it. I'm not used to talking into a camera. So make sure you do wear a mask when you're working with this grout. So I'm going to take, well, when you're mixing the grout. So I'm going to take this sponge and both ends. And I've gone over it a couple times with the rough end, but I'm going to take the rough end over it again. Now it's sunk down and I can see that it's definitely going to need a second layer of cement when it dries. Then I take and rinse this out and I rinse it out quite often. And then I start to wipe. What I want to show you is as I start to wipe, the glass is going to start showing up. Let's do it over here by you. So the rough edge is going to kind of move it up. You can see how it's kind of getting a foam on a film on it. That film, that's how I'm going to let it go after I do this next thing. I'm going to let it get the film on it before I take and use a newspaper to wipe it off. So now I take the sponge and I start to wipe. And some of that glass is going to start showing through. Now I want my sponge not to be too wet. It was a little wet that time, but I get it so that I can really get it pretty dry and then I wipe over it. The thing about using a spatula versus a sponge that's really nice is these sponges are going to wear out. And when they start wearing out, if you start seeing pieces of sponge in your project, you definitely want to get a new sponge, right? You don't have to worry about that when you use the ceramic rubber um, spatula. I'm going to get one of those. I have it here somewhere. When I moved, I had one. I just haven't found it. Um, it's not as easy to go out and get things now as it used to be, right? So I'm just kind of making some things do. So now you can see the flower starting to come through. I'm going to wipe it one more time and then I'm going to leave it so that I can get that haze on there. And I'm actually going to need to put another layer on probably tomorrow. Now you gotta rinse it out a lot. When you're doing this part, it's gonna require you to rinse out your sponge a lot. You know what I like about mosaics is you can take shattered pieces of, of art and create something really neat out of it. And you know, it's kind of like life, right? When we take the shattered pieces of our life and put it back together. I'm running a, another program where I do videos every day. It's called Moving Forward. I'm actually gonna bring these two videos together because healing with the art is how we move forward. Healing and doing this work is so meditative. It's like a meditation for me and I so enjoy it. Now this piece of the table is about three feet long and I would say, oh, two feet. You know, it might be four feet long. I haven't measured it. Um, and then it's two feet high. So I'm going to guess it's four feet long, two feet high. Just has been such a fun project. And um, it's been a little different doing it in the studio than outside. But you can see what happens. And when you wipe over it, I love it because it's like the gems come through. So this is a second video. I'll do the third one where I'm going to wipe off that haze. But you can kind of see the haze here starting. See how it gets like that? That's what I'm going to let the rest of this do. I'm going to let it dry to that stage where it's hazy. And then when I can see that there's no, no more wet glistening in the cement, then I'll take a newspaper to it. This is Christiane, the Mosaic Shaman. See you next time.